Salvete de Scipuli, this is help for your Latin studies in Henley First Year Latin, exercise 96. And as we enter into this exercise, we're also beginning a new lesson, learning about adjectives of the third declension. Um, there are adjectives of the first and second declension, and then there are adjectives of the third declension. And um, the, that's all the adjectives that there are. And those different adjectives just belong to one family or, or the other. They either belong to the family of first and second declension or they belong to the family of third declension. And the endings for adjectives of the third declension can be found in your grammar book on page 16. This is rule 78. And it shows you how we would decline adjectives of the third declension in masculine, feminine, and neuter. Now you remember when we learned about adjectives of the first and second declension, we learned a very important rule, which is that adjectives must agree with the nouns that they modify in gender, number, and case. So when you go to translate in Latin and English, you want to consider the gender, number, and case of the noun first, and then make the adjective ending agree, or see that the adjective ending agrees in all, all three of those ways. Okay, we have new vocabulary words here. These are all adjectives of the third declension. And so we're gonna go forward to exercise 96 in the book today. And in exercise 96, we are asked to complete the Latin sentences and then translate them into English. And so you'll see that there are these dot, 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 dot. That's asking us to apply the correct ending. That's how we complete it. And then we want to translate from Latin to English. So let's go ahead and get started with number one. In number one, it says, Dominus Christus Rex Hominum Erat Fort dot, 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 et nobil dot, dot, dot. So these are two of our new Latins, the stem of the first being fort and the stem of the second being noble. And if I look at our vocabulary list, our new vocabulary list, I can see fortis forte means brave or strong. Nobilis nobile means noble or renowned. Okay, so the first question that I want to answer is, what are these adjectives modifying? Which noun are they modifying? And if I look any closer to my sentence, I see I have three nouns of, that are um, of the nominative case. These are second declension nouns, dominus, Christus, both in the singular nominative case. And then we have rex, which is also in the nominative case. It's a third declension noun. And then we have another noun, hominum. This is a, a third declension noun, uh, homo, hominis. And um, that ending, um, hominum, tells me that it is a plural genitive noun. And then I have a verb. It's a being verb, past tense or imperfect tense, erat, which means he, she, or it was. And then our adjectives, fort, et, no bill, and I need to figure out their endings. Well, the being verb tells me, and, and the fact that there are so many, or that there are these um, nominative case nouns, that tells me that we have a subject, linking verb, and then predicate adjective pattern. And so the adjectives are modifying the subject. And the subject, Christus, is masculine and it's singular and it's um, nominative. So I want to be sure that my adjectives agree with the noun that they modify and the endings applied should be masculine, singular, nominative. So if I look here on rule 78 in my grammar book, masculine, singular, nominative, the ending for these two adjectives should be is. So my answer is fortis and nobilis. And then 
the next step is to translate it. Well, dominus, domini, is a second declension noun, meaning master or lord. When it's applied or, or partnered with the word Christ, we would say Lord Christ. So, Christus, Christ. And then rex is a third declension nominative noun, meaning king. And homo hominis is a noun from our vocabulary, third declension nouns, meaning man. This ending, um, is a plural and genitive ending. So hominum would mean of men, the king of men, and then was. So I have Lord Christ, king of men, was strong and noble. Lord Christ, King of men, was strong and noble. Let's take a look at one more. And number two, space galorum erat breu. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So the question is, which ending would we apply here? And that depends, again, on which noun is being modified. So space, spei, it's a fifth declension noun. This is in the um, singular nominative case, and it means hope. And then galorum is... Um, this is a second declension noun, Gaulus, Gauli, meaning the Gauls, the people of Gaul. Um, and that orum ending is going to be plural and genitive, so of the Gauls. So the hope of the Gauls was, uh, and this, this new adjective we got on our list here, brewis, brewe, means short. This adjective is a predicate adjective, just like we had up here. You can see the linking verb again. And so it's going to be modifying our subject, space. So space, it, as a fifth declension noun, that means it's feminine, and it's singular, and it's nominative. So we want our adjective to agree in gender number case. We want our adjective ending to be feminine, singular, nominative. So again, I'm coming over to my... Um, rule 78, these third declension adjectives, feminine, singular, nominative, and they're just the same. Masculine and feminine are just the same, so it's also is. So brewis is my ending, and that's, that uh, sentence would be translated, the hope of the Gauls was short or brief, I think would, would probably also translate well. I hope this is helpful to you and have a great week.